Hey everyone and welcome. As you're probably aware, the scare the pants off everybody narrative has shifted now to climate change. We all saw it coming, didn't we? The core is one, and I can behold the tide. Well, it's getting absolutely ridiculous now, as you're probably aware. The media and the powers that be, that making an absolute fortune out of green policy, have been claiming that rising CO2 levels is going to kill us all. Now, this is the World Economic Forum, and as they say, rising CO2 levels could have very severe global impact, according to the latest research. Operative word there being could. Now, obviously, this is being parroted across the West, and all of our children are being taught it in schools that they should be completely ashamed assured in the fact that they will never grow up because this is how things are done nowadays isn't it you scare the pants off the children and then the parents have to fall in line just so that they can make the children feel safe am i wrong on that well let's have a look at this co2 level bull crap shall we and debunk that now this is an actual study that was done by burner in 2001 and this shows that we're actually in a co2 famine yes you heard that right famine now this is over a 660 million year period so it is quite a long period and it measures how much much parts per million CO2 is in the atmosphere. Now, if you look at the green bar, that's where plants thrive. And look where the blue, the, the blue line goes to. We're very, very close to the red line of death. What that actually means, everyone, is not that it's going to get a bit warm in places and everyone will have to migrate. No, 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 no. That'll be where everything green dies and our planet no longer produces oxygen. But don't let that worry you. Obviously, this could have been told to you by any gardener or any agriculture farmer or anyone that deals with plant life. Now, don't take my word for it. If you want to know how good CO2 is for life. Have a listen to this. This is the WEF growing themselves. Have a listen. Arga is driving growth in the agricultural sector by adding carbon dioxide to increase production capacity and guarantee large, attractive flowers and vegetables such as cucumbers, tomatoes and lettuce. Using carbon dioxide fertilization increases yield by up to 30%. Ambient air has a carbon dioxide concentration of 400 ppm. This is sufficient for growing tomatoes and cucumbers, but as the plants... Did you hear that? 400 parts per million. Let's have a look at the graph again. 400 parts per million. Optimum for plants is 1,000 to 1,400 ppm parts per million of CO2 in the atmosphere. So this is optimum for plants and we're currently down here. Let's continue, shall we? Often grown in greenhouses start to consume the carbon dioxide in the air at first sunlight. If the concentration of carbon dioxide is allowed to fall, growth is slowed down or halted. CO2 in greenhouses is very important because we get a better crop, a higher yield, and better quality of the tomatoes. Additional carbon dioxide needs to be added to increase efficiency and to have the optimal yield. There you go, everyone. To get an optimal yield, we need more CO2. And yet, the WEF and the media and everybody else is trying to claim that a slight increase of CO2 will kill us all. Absolutely shocking. Now, obviously, this is them lauding the fact that CO2 does wonders for life. But let's have a look what the media are trying to push on everyone at the minute. Now, you, you heard me at the beginning. It's all scaremongering, isn't it? And the new scaremongering is climate change. Let's have a look at what they're doing at the moment. This was in 2017. If you have a look at the numbers, 26, 30, 33, 34, 32, 36. Now, 2022, everything's red and all of the numbers are less. All of them. Now, don't just take this one image. Here's another one. Same again. All the numbers are, are, are down. Not only have they gone yellow, red, now they're doing purple and pink and absolutely disgusting what they're doing to people at the minute. This is nudge behavioural science as far as I'm concerned and the media are the prime examples and they have the nerve to call people like me, you and me disinformation specialists. Absolutely shocking. Let me know what you think though. CO2 does not hurt the planet. In fact, it helps the planet and we're dangerously close to the the red line of death and yet they still want to reduce it even more let me know why you think that is everyone stay sane i'll see you on the next one